What's up mga kachets? Kaya Dale here and I'm back with another chemical engineering uh, principles nga lesson. So we are finished with uh, fluid mechanics. So I promise that the next in line would be uh, the heat transfer. So I did uh, keep my promise. So let's dive right into this uh, um, lesson. Okay, so it, heat transfer it's... Uh, so uh, it's relatively easy than the uh, fluid mechanics okay so it's uh, unlike what we have uh, experienced in undergrad where the heat transfer is coupled with the evaporator diba? the heat and mass transfer na, uh, subject is being made into a unit operations na subject diba? so it's a lot easier Okay, so and for continuation, <laughs> I'm still using this book, you know, a reviewer for chemical engineering, uh, lecture examination. If you are answering with this, I I have a friend who is uh, reviewing at MRI, you know, uh, Mike Kamutya. So shout out to you. So please still continue reviewing and watch my videos. Okay, so this is from MRI, Manila Review. Institute Incorporated. Okay, so let's begin our uh, lesson. So never mind the dogs. Uh, if you can hear them, but if you can't hear them, then well, I'm good. Because uh, I don't want you to hear them. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, begin with our new lesson. Yeah. So I thank my designer, logo designer for this. It's uh, Akiti, yeah. uh, Gwen Ashbel Kansancho. So she designed my logo. Yeah. It's a dis- it's a distillation tower. It's a distillation tower. You can notice. Yeah. So but uh, when we uh, rich distillation. I'll tell you the meaning of this logo. Okay, and yeah. So um, let, let's begin. This is a simple of uh, a series of uh, simple, na multiple choice questions. Okay, I'm gonna speed through them. Um, I'm gonna give a uh, little to no explanation because if there are if they are definitions then I can gloss over them and tell you that this is what they mean okay so number one uh, just I will leave to you the reading of these um, problems yeah? because I'm here to answer them and I don't want to spend too much time reading them okay so I'm just gonna answer them Okay, so number one, uh, if thermal conductivity of the fluid increases, the heat transfer coefficient will uh, increase. Okay, so yeah. So, equation Q uh, over A, KDP dx, diba? this is called the Fourier's law equation. Check equation 5-1 in your Paris to uh, confirm. Okay, number three. So, if viscosity of the fluid will increase, the heat transfer in a coefficient in a turbulent flow system will, yeah, so it is decreasing, okay? It will decrease. So, yeah, so number four, so number four, so no, number four, um, I just changed it a bit. So, if the currents are set in motion by the action of mechanical device, right? so meaning it is forced. Uh, if it is uh, done by a mechanical device, okay. So number five, um, uh, heat transferred radially across an insulated pipe per unit area. So this is so radially, man. So radially. So yeah. So imagine if this is your pipe, but radially, man. So radially. So it's going out, okay. So insulated pipe per unit area. So, per unit area, it, uh, is it remain constant, inversely proportional to the thermal conductivity, or decreases from pipe wall to the in, uh, insulated surface, yeah? or increases from pipe wall to the insulated surface. So, it is 
logo na it decreases, di ba? It decreases from pipe pole. Pipe pole. So, pipe pole. This is the pipe pole to the insulated surface. So, maybe there's an insulation there. So, it decreases. So, you have to make sure that no... Um, uh, if you're carrying a hot uh, fluid, di ba? You want to make sure that all of the heat that is uh, transporting will be made across, di ba? Go across... Um, to, to, if you, especially if you're transporting steam, you don't want to uh, the steam to lose heat while being transported, ba? So that's uh, yeah, the bit, bit of um, to give to you. So next number six, the transfer of heat from point to another with the fluid. Yeah, so <laughs> just please uh, read that. That's uh, convection, ba? Within a fluid, da within a fluid, but the movement or mixing of fluid. Okay, mixing of fluid, yani conviction. Okay, so uh, method of developing the design. Yes, we did this in fifth year uh, in our Chem 6 uh, CHE 61 61 diba? It's rating a heat exchanger. Yeah, we did that. Wow. Well, number 8. So, water inside the beaker is being heated over a hot plate. Uh, the mechanism of heat transfer to the water is considered to be, yeah, that's natural con- uh, convection. That's not forced convection because you're not using a stirrer to stir it to distribute the heat. So, it's a natural convection. Number nine, this is um, a bit, uh, uh, we need it, uh, we need a solution paper to this, but let's answer number ten. So that we won't uh, come back to here. Uh, here diba? So, number 10, the driving force, the heat transfer is, you know this, it's temperature gradient. Diba? Number um, number 9, so let's answer that number 9. Diba? So, we have a uh, pipe, diba? thick walled copper cylinder. Copper cylinder, okay? So copper cylinder has an inside radius of yan. So, yeah, so please read it, and I'll gonna I'm gonna be drawing the uh, schematic diagram for you. Okay, so we have a cylinder. Well, we have a cylinder. No, oh, we have we have a cylinder. Okay, we have a cylinder. So forgive my drawing. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I'm using this. Uh, for a long time, but I still don't know how to control it. <laughs> so we have a uh, degree Celsius. So we have R1, which is inside. Yeah, we have one centimeter. Uh, R2, simply uh, that's R2. Okay, R2. It's 1.8 uh, centimeter. Yeah. So um, that's the smart diagram of that. So we are transporting heat. Okay, so what equation should you use? Yeah, so this is specific because it's a copper cylinder, ha? So copper cylinder. So we have an equation to that that uh, it's found in equation 5-7. So this is the uh, equation, okay? So we have a T1 minus T2 over ln r2 over r1 over 2 pi k. k is the thermal uh, coefficient. Ba? Thermal coefficient k. Um, and then, so what is k here? Diba? What is k here? We are given the value of k 0 and then we have b. Diba? So it, obviously, we have to use an equation for this. And what equation should you use? Uh, <laughs> Perry comes to the rescue to this. So, um, it's equation 5-6. Okay? So, we have to use this equation. Uh, KO1 plus gamma T. Okay? Gamma. So, I believe that's gamma. Yeah. But this gamma is gonna be your B. Okay? So, we are given that and then let this P is the average temperature, okay? This average temperature of the outside and the inside the temperature. Yeah. So, we have in in Kelvin, in Kelvin. So, in Kelvin. So, 
let's um, substitute yeah so we have one plus uh actually this is one no? minus no? this is negative man no? so that's minus no um yeah that's 9.25 times 10 to the negative 5 no? times um 578 plus uh, 568 these are, these are the temperatures in Kelvin uh, just add 223 to it we have 352.188 watts per meter per Kelvin yeah. and then substitute here no? and then you will get the answer substitute all that all here you have uh, 305 uh, 295 by uh, all over 1.81 and then you have a uh, 2 pi times 352.188 so you have um, 37,006 147 watts per meter or if you convert that to kilowatt uh, kilowatt per meter and then just round it up yeah, or round it off to the nearest uh, 10,000 you'll get a 40 kilowatt per meter yeah so that's letter D now let's go to number 11 so um air flowing inside the pipe while being heated by condensing steam on the outside pipe so what should we use yeah? the proper it's it based on the inside or on the outside yeah? so important thing to one to uh, consider here is what is being heated okay what is being heated so that's the more important I think that's the more important substance here, so that's uh, the inside area, okay? Because it's being heated, man. Or I don't know. If you have any suggestions, just comment it in the video below. In the comment section below, and I will be welcome to. Uh, and maybe I don't. I really don't know how to uh, answer this, so I'm asking for you. And because these are also the answers in the. Uh, answer key okay and uh, my answer coincides with the answer <laughs> in the, um, answer key so let's go to number 12 so if two metals uh, were kept together in a room temperature would, would why would metal one metal feel colder than the other okay so it's simple um yeah if one has a high transfer coefficient or a high thermal conductivity, lower temperature, high heat capacity. Oh, I would answer and letter B. Yeah, that's letter B is actually the answer, guys. <laughs> yeah, number 13. So, yeah, this is a simple substitution lang with the um, formula. Wa? So number 13, just use equation 5-4. 5-4, equation 5-4. So you have this. Okay, A. Um, T1 minus T2 over X. X is the distance, you know, distance from T1 to T2. Or the um, medium, okay? The length of the medium. Uh, that it will the uh, heat will be uh, traveling through. Okay, so and you can uh, modify this equation to be like there. Yeah, this is the more common expression you uh, see. Okay, so just substitute all that you know. So we have one uh, one thousand three hundred minus uh, one seventy five. And then you have 6 over 12. So I did it a uh, bit na already. And you have 0.17 here. 
And you have area, ba? 10 square feet. Then you will have uh, 3,825 uh, BTU per hour. Yan. Let's see. That's num letter C. And then number 14. Okay, number 14 is a little bit different because you have a two uh, different materials in series okay so i'm gonna to do this as best as i can Ooh. <laughs> still not good with this yeah. Yun. okay so we have this and this and this and yan so i just that's at temperature profile okay temperature profile in this so you have uh, 1,500 yeah, in the inside yeah, and then you have uh, you have 500 degrees Fahrenheit on the outside okay so that's <laughs> temperature profile or gradient so we have also these okay so again we have our W1 we have W2 so and they're both uh, 5 inches okay uniform in thickness then you have your k1 k1 is one btu per hour per feet per degrees fahrenheit and then you have a k2 0.1 okay so then you have uh, just use the um the formula i gave you earlier but because you have two materials now you have two resistance, so this is the resistance term on the denominator, okay? So, you have to add one, a uh, one, other term. So, you have to, P1, P2, you have, um, let's replace that with W1, then you have K1 plus W2, uh, K2. We have 1,500 here, 500 there, and you have uh, 5 over 12 because you're converting it to feet. And then you have 1 here, and 5 over 12 also, 0.1, you will get 218 BTU per hour per feet squared. Ah, it's based on writing. <laughs> 218 yeah so let's letter p so number 15 it's similar okay it's similar so just um not gonna um i'm just gonna write the equation and mm, uh, this is the equation first. Okay. So that you will understand. So you have XF. XF. And then you have uh, KF. What's the F? Well, it's fire clay brick. And then you have I for the insulation. So you have um, XI for the insulation. And then you have KI for the insulation. Uh, let's substitute everything. You have 300 here. Ba? That's this. 300. Kini. 300. And then you have a T1 or T2. That's uh, 1,800. Uh, 100. Over. You have a 0.7. Here. Over 0.6. Then you have. Uh, which is the required the xi diba? and then you have 0.4 okay so shift solve to find xi uh, or delta xi we will have delta xi is equal to 0.18 feet or 0.20 feet kay moment siya ang kabutang diri letter B, okay? Number 16, the HD 
over k is known as the Nusselt number. Just search it in your Paris, the dimensional numbers, Nusselt chapter 3 or Nusselt chapter 6. You can find that there. So, number 17. Yan. How do you answer this? This is a really simple. Um, just read the problem. This is the solution. A. You have uh, 1,800. Actually, this is similar to the uh, problem. The previous problem, no? 0.04. That's uh, 464. Yeah. Never mind the units. That's letter A. Letter B is similar to number 14. Okay? So, yan. You have all the information. I'm just uh, speeding through this. You have 18. And let's draw. So that uh, we will be... Yun. Okay. So, the dogs are very noisy outside because there is a new dog, which is, uh, we don't know where he came from. It, he has uh, matted fur. He is very dirty and we tried to keep him out of our house because it's very dirty. It's very dirty. Something to <laughs> associate with him. Okay, so we have a 31... 500 degrees Celsius here. Yeah. So, the uh, AL is aluminum. Uh, ASB is asphalt. Yeah? Asphalt deck. Uh, asbestos. Yeah, asbestos. Asbestos. And um, RW is the rock wool. Okay. Rock wool. Then, we will name each of these. Yeah. So, we have uh, P4. I think. P4. P3, P3. So, the P1 is, uh, let's just assume that this uh, aluminum itself not uh, is 500 degrees Celsius. So, this uh, at this point, it's also P1, P1, then P2, so P3, and then the, uh, RW is P3. Okay? So, maybe, uh, um, yeah, uh, let's, let's draw that. Yeah, so that you will understand. So, uh, you okay? So each has their own thickness. Okay, so it it has 0.5 cm and then 0.25 uh, cm and then we have a uh, two centimeters of rock wool uh, insulation. Okay, so just uh do what I did earlier then because you have three materials so you have three resistances to put in the denominator yeah? so you have x the aluminum over uh, k aluminum plus uh, esb uh, you have k esb also here plus uh, x RW over KRW. So they are really, really nice outside. I don't know when it's going to end, but let's do our best. So I'm converting them to meter. So if you can, if you see the uh, scientific notation, just I divided it by 100 okay so times 10 to the negative 2 so we have 268.08 plus a point twenty-five times 10 to the negative 2 also meter yeah so i converted it to meter and then you have your thermal coefficient then you have 2 times 10 to the negative 2 so we divide it by 100 again yeah, and then you have uh, 1,083 watts per square meter. And that's, um, yeah, that's a 30. It's the nearest, okay? So you have, we have number 19 here. So we have number 19. Uh, 
it's actually the same dude. It's the same. Just do what I did. Um, the numbers earlier, you know? We can see the answer is twenty six point four, and then an- answer the same letter uh, twenty, a uh, number twenty, same procedure, na uh, same procedure. You will get koan. Uh, Ini uh, the other koan yung the ikining A, beta A is twelve times sixteen, so that you will get the A. Uh, just use the equation that I showed you earlier. Uh, let's letter B happen. Yeah. Number 21. So, I'm excited also to uh, show you this. But, the let's answer number 22. Already. So, heat transfer by conduction due to symmetry. The heat flow at a point is perpendicular to the isothermal surface through the point. Okay, this mode of conduction is characteristic of I don't know, but this is the uh, this is the definition of uh, isotropic solids. Okay, so this is the definition of isotropic solids. So let's answer number twenty one. So you have a uh, three. You said so you have, you have number three. Hapon ka materials. So things three hapon ka materials. So. This is really the kind of questions in heat transfer. I uh, I hope it's this simple in the board exam because uh, the one that was taught to us in our review center are a bit difficult. <laughs> and uh, also they teach us very soon uh, things that would make this anal- analysis of these things simpler. And I really thank them for that, especially uh mom lara mom lara mom lara is my teacher in this yeah shout out to mom lara mom lara may lumbres yeah of quantum review center so you have six inches here and you have three inches here so yeah so this is what she taught us in listing uh the x and you have your k yeah. so you have point 0.25 here, then you have 0.8 here, then you have 0.065 there. So, just uh, get the one, get the heat of flux, course, from T1 to T4. Yeah, so you have uh, 78 minus 40, then uh, you have 2 over 12. Let's convert that to heat. Na? Already, so you have uh, 6 over 12, uh, 0.8 plus 3 over 12 over 0.065, and you will get uh, 3.412 BTU per uh, square foot per hour. Right? So, what, uh, what we are required here. Is this yeah? So T two and T three, the interface temperatures. So you have we have to get that. But how how do we get that? Remember that the heat flux across this all uh, material is the same. Okay, so we can take advantage of that. We can exploit that. Okay, so within between T one and T two, the heat flux is the same. T two and T three, three point four one two. T3 and T4, 3.412. It's constant across the material. Okay? So, we can take advantage of that. So, we have a 3.412. Nah? So, you have a T2 minus 40. So, you will get uh, the, the thickness. Diba? The thickness of the material. Then, you have a point, uh, 0.25, the thermal coefficient. Okay? So, you will get T2. Net, which is 62.75 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so the same for e, uh, T3, you have 78 minus T3, uh, 3 over 12, 0.065, 3.412. Same, okay, then you will get 
six. Uh, I'm writing all over the place. Oh, 64.9 degrees Fahrenheit. The answer, letter B. Yeah. So let's move on to the last uh, three numbers for this video. So the ratio of the internal thermal resistance to a solid, to a solid to the boundary layer thermal resistance is described by katong mga bashers sa uh, BTS dara <laughs> you will you have today <laughs> I don't I can't believe this number exists okay so if you know what I'm talking about you know the answer to this is biot number okay so num I don't want to spend too much time to that let's move on number 24 it's letter B okay and number 25 Property of the soil that provides a measure of the rate of heat relative to, uh, relative to the energy storage is referred to us. Yan. So, measure of rate of heat transfer energy storage is so this uh, thermal liquidity. Okay? Okay. So, uh, we're done with this video. <laughs> we're done with this video. Okay? So, there are um, there are a lot of things that um, I've left zero but this is it for this video I hope you see the part two of this video okay so part two of this video is a lot more exciting because uh, I've really uh, incorporated what I have learned from QRC there in the part two so i hope you see the part two okay so that's it for this video that's it for now i hope to see you in the next video so if you don't if haven't subscribed yet please do so and please leave a like and comment on this video if you like it okay and then please share it to your friends so that they will know that i am answering this uh, reviewer that is very nice reviewer Okay, so that's it. Bye!